Beautiful. And our last topic is going to be interceptors, which are functions that Axios calls for every request. And we can use them to transform the request before it leaves the application, as well as add some custom logic when we handle the response. In general, interceptors make way more sense if you have complex application. For example, authentication comes to mind. So we'll come back to them once there's actual need in our project. This is just introduction to interceptors. So in our examples, we'll mostly just log stuff. Also, we will set up interceptors on our custom instance, but please keep in mind, we can add them exactly the same to our global instance instead. And like I said, basically, they are just functions. We go with custom instance in this case, then interceptors, and then either request or the response. So this is the outgoing request, and then the incoming response, then that use, and then we pass in two functions. So in the case of request, in the first function, we access the request, the outgoing request, and we must, 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 must return this request, otherwise it's not going to work. And as an example, we can add the header here. Notice the syntax is very similar to the default one. We just don't use defaults. We go with request, whatever is the parameter name. As always, you can call this Mamba Juice, then headers, then common. And in this case, we're just adding the accept header. But yes, you can add authorization header and all kinds of things. And like I said, in our case, we'll just log just so we can see that it actually works. Then if we have error, we will have return promise reject error. And the same goes for the response one. We're in here, we'll log the response that we successfully got the response back, we need to return this. And we also have the error one. And I'll talk about this one once we actually set up the code, because this is the place where we can make some global app decisions that affect all of our requests. And you'll see how cool is that. So first, let me showcase that in the app.js, I have set up, I have six interceptors file. And there's not much there. Again, I have the URL back to my own server. And we'll just be looking for the custom instance that we'll set up in a second. And then we just want to invoke it. And then you'll see the logs in the console, you'll also see the header. And we'll also take a look at how we can add some logic based on the error that we're getting back. And actually, we want to start here in the Axios, we want to go with new file, and we'll say interceptors, hopefully I'm spelling this correctly. And we still want to get the Axios and all that. And you know, what? I think it's going to be better if we just take this entire thing. I think it's going to be faster. Again, like I keep saying, you can set this one up on the global instance instead. I'm just using this example. So I have this auth fetch. Let me take this one out. So I'll leave this base URL in place. Then we want to go with our first interceptor. So let's just set up here auth fetch, then interceptors dot, and then I'm going to go with request use. And for time being, let's just pass in two empty functions, because I do want to copy and paste this to save a little bit of time. So let's set up over here the second function, let's copy and paste, and it's not going to be request. This will be the response like so. Then in the first function, we want to access the request that's going out. And again, it is at the end of the day, of course, the parameter. So we can set up here whatever we want. So in my case, I'm going to go with request, then in the function body, right away, let's return that request, because it's very easy to forget that and that functionality is not going to work. So we set up the request. And in here, I just want to add that accept header, just so we can see. And also, I want to log this, I want to say request, sent, and right above it. Let's go with request then dot headers dot common, then the name of the header, which in this case is going to be accept. And let's set it equal to and 
just going to go with application JSON. Now I can see that I have a tiny bug here. There is no dot. It's just accept. So that should do it. Then we also want to deal with error. And we want to go with return promise dot reject promise promise dot and then reject and let's pass in the error and now let's work on the response one now as far as the successful response let's just log that so let's say here response and again we want to return that so return and response and let's just say that it happened so log and got response and we also have the case for the error so let's say if we send the request and we get back the error response whether that's 400 whatever that's 401 which is authorization error or it's 404 means couldn't find the resource and for now let's just go with error and then log error response and then like i said we'll add a little bit more custom code just so we can see how everything works so error and response let's save this now we want to navigate to the interceptors we want to get that custom instance from the interceptors in this case though so let me open up this file and in here we already have the url okay that's good let's go with auth fetch we're looking for axios and then interceptors we have fetch data in place and instead of log let's set up the try catch and then we're going to go with const and then response is equal to await then auth fetch so auth fetch remember we already have the base url so we just go with react store hyphen and then product and once we save we have in the console request sent and got response which means that now in here we can add whatever custom logic we want and if you don't believe me we can navigate of course to the browser i can refresh and you'll see that again in the headers there's going to be that except one and again this is just an example of course we can add whatever headers we want over there or some other logic for that matter now where this is going to be really handy is when we are dealing with authentication because we need to keep in mind that this gives us an option to set up code for the entire application so for example if we're getting some type of response again for the authentication that would be 401 we can log out the user in all of the requests so we basically don't need to repeat ourselves you can think of it this way so first let me just go here to the interceptors and let me mess up the url so instead of react store product let me add one more s so we'll still get the logs and all that okay that's good the request is still sent but now we're getting back the response so route does not exist so this is our data and notice the status over here so we have 404 so here's what we can do we can mimic some global response that we would have in the case of 401. In this case, however, we'll work with 404. So I'll keep the error response, but I'll say if error dot, then response, then dot status. And if it is equal to 404 in this case, then let's just set up some kind of log. And we'll say do something. Now in our case, again, that something is just gonna be log, but normally this is where you would communicate with your application state. And we'll say log here. And in the log, let's just write not found. And then below this if one, let's just go with return. And then promise, promise, and then reject. So we can still get that error in our instance. So over here, where we have the catch. But the idea right now is that, let's say for all the requests that we will set up, if the response is going to be 404, then we'll have this not found. Again, normally what's going to happen, you'll have 401, and then let's say you'll log out the user, which is, by the way, something that we do in my Marin course. So let's refresh here and now check it out. Since the response is 404, in here we have this custom logic that has this not found. So that's how we can set up 
interceptors in Axios.